All right, here we go with cylinder number one. I know I said in the next Corolla video we would be using shooter lube to try to unstick the piston rings in this car, but something has come up. Oh, look at that. And for the future validity of these ring unsticking experiments, I think we need to deal with the something. A viewer recommended that I get an endoscope or boroscope and check out the cylinders. So I did. can actually use that and look at all sorts of stuff that you don't want to, can't you? Yeah. All right, I got this endoscope from Depths Tech, and we're going to stick it down in the spark plug tube and see what we can figure out. So first we're going to take these coil packs off so we can get to the spark plugs. Actually, I should say first we're going to disconnect the negative cable of the battery. Now we're going to remove the coil packs. And as always, I forgot you got to loosen this rail back here. There we go. Now we'll get the spark plugs out. Yes, they're pretty ugly. And yes, I do have new spark plugs to go in here but I'm not going to change them yet. Now I'm going to make sure that the brake is on and the car is in neutral. And that is so we can put a wrench on the crankshaft pulley and raise and lower the pistons so we can see the cylinders better. It's a 19 millimeter we're going to use on the crankshaft pulley. The way this endoscope works is you download the app. It's called Depstech, Depstech Viewer, I think. And you go in your settings and you turn on your Wi-Fi. You can see that. Let's start scoping the cylinders. Here's cylinder number one.
All right, that was cylinder number one looking straight down in it. We'll go ahead and do all the cylinders looking straight down in them. And then we'll try the mirrored lens. I guess I need to go to cylinder number four first since it's at the bottom of its stroke. Now we'll turn the crank around to get cylinders two and three bottomed out. That's cylinder number two. Cylinder number three. I'm going to go through them one more time. Cylinder number two. Cylinder number three. Cylinder number one. And cylinder number four. All right, let's switch over to the mirrored attachment. So it looks like you unscrew this. Oh yeah, it's just a little bezel or bezel. A ring. Put that in there, and then screw mirrored attachment on there. All right, let's check it out. Here we go with cylinder number one. Hmm. This is not working right. Stupid me, there was a little tiny lens cover on it. And that's why it was blue. I didn't think they could fit a little lens cover in there. All right, let's try this again. Here is cylinder number one. Well, that's not working too good. You can see it up here, but when we go down inside, the lights mess it up. I don't think that mirror works too well. Let's go back in with a scope and see if we can put a little bend in it to see the sides better. All right, I'm gonna put just a little bend on the end there. Hopefully that'll still go through the spark plug hole. 
Here we go again with cylinder number one. Here's the walls of cylinder number one, as best as we can see them. see some cross hatching All right, let's try cylinder number four. Alright, let's turn the crank and look at cylinders number two and three. Here's number two. And here's cylinder number three. Oh, look at that. There's some oil running in there, isn't there? I guess it's possible that oil ran in when I took the spark plug out. But it might be coming through the valves. Oh yeah, lots of oil. That looked like a good bit of oil there. Let's see if we can see the spark plug gasket better. This is cylinder number three again. All right, here's the spark, here's the spark plug well. I don't know, what do y'all think? Could that oil running down the walls of cylinder number three be most of the oil use we're seeing? I mean, obviously all the cylinders did have oil contamination in them. All that carbon and the spark plugs are all fouled up. But cylinder number three had oil running down the sides. Now that could have been oil that was trapped in the spark plug well. And when I took it out, it ran in and started trickling down. 
or it could be that those seals on those valves in cylinder number three are just totally gone and it's just pouring oil down in there. So now that everyone has seen this, it'll be hard to continue with these engine treatments without first addressing these other questions. Because if the issue is not piston rings, we're just wasting our time with all these chemical treatments. I personally still think it is the piston rings and that the oil seen dripping down the sides of the cylinder wall is actually oil that was trapped in the spark plug well. And when we took the spark plug out, it was sort of a drain releasing that oil into the cylinder, which then ran down the cylinder walls. Because if it were a valve stem seal issue, it seems that the oil would follow the valve down and drip off the lip of the valve straight onto the piston itself. That said, there's still a chance that it is the valve stem seals, so we need to go ahead and eliminate that possibility. Several viewers have also mentioned that it might be the PCV valve causing all the oil use, and though I cleaned the PCV valve in a prior video, I should probably change out the PCV valve with a new one just to eliminate that as a possibility of the oil use. So in a short future video, I'm going to change out the PCV valve and we'll see if it had any effect on the oil use.